All right, uh, Ms. Scott. Miss Scott, why don't you have a seat? You're our last customer of the day or of the morning. Oh, no. You've got a dozen assault charges on here. A dozen. Yeah. Uh, but no theft. So. I'm more anger than uh, stealing. Yes. Well, all right. Let's talk about this. You're Rachel Nicole Ott. Mm -hmm. And we've met before, but I didn't. Multiple think... times, yes. Yes. You have a hot temper. Yes. It's simmered a lot. Okay, well, but I I haven't been in trouble for an assault for two years. Oh, that's a good um, thing. So. Well, in this case, it's alleged that you were at the Walmart store in Sturgis. Yes. And you did alter, remove, transfer, replace, conceal, misrepresent the price of yes. four hundred and twenty-six dollars with the grocery items that you under rang that's a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail prosecutors agreed to reduce that to a charge of retail fraud in the third degree do you understand yes that's a misdemeanor it's punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to 500 dollars do you understand the charge yes sir Um, anybody threaten you to get you to plead to that? No, sir. Or promise you anything other than that they're dismissing uh, the larger charge of retail fraud second degree? No, sir. I say this a lot. This charge didn't used to exist. Um, when there were humans manning the cash registers, no, self-checkout. Self um, it didn't happen. But Walmart and other retailers have made the decision to replace people with electronic computerized checkout systems, which people try to circumvent. So you heard me go through the advice of rights a couple of times while you were waiting. You've been here quite a while. Do you understand you're giving all those rights up by entering this plea? Yes, sir. And other than the reduction, nobody promised you anything? No, sir. So did you slide some items around the scanner? And uh, we were trying to fit about $426 and the $56 left that we had on food stamps. We did not have uh, food stamps coming into the household. So you had $56 of worth of EBT month. and you were trying to get $421 worth of stuff? Yes, we were trying to... Get it so that we had enough to cover until next month. It was around Christmas time. We had three kids at the house. I was pregnant myself, and we were all hungry. We were just trying to fill the house without having to, you know, suffer. I we went to multiple uh, places for food and stuff, but it was around Christmas time. Like I said, we really couldn't get much help. All right, it was December twentieth. When did you get arrested for this? Uh, last month, well, let's say last month is when I was stopped. Sorry, you uh, got they, they saw they saw the friend that I was with at Walmart how in the long back seat of the car. How long were you in jail? I didn't go to jail. She freaked out and paid my bond and hers as well. All right. Who was with you? Nicole Anthony. And sh was she in the same thing or she had a different warrant? She had a different warrant. Uh, I took the full charge for this because I am the one that who did was it. with you uh, at Walmart at the time yeah Nicole Anthony okay um did they recover the property oh I've never left the store with it all right so they did did they take you to jail or did you post the bond on the street uh they sent it to the prosecutor's office sent us home that night um because like I said we did have three children at the house and the only person that was watching them at the time was her father. And so they sent us home. And then they went to the prosecutors. Well, it says I here you got the, arrested. So I'm going to give it one day credit one well, day. Well, 
we were uh, driving around doing laundry and we got stopped and he sat there for a minute waiting to see who was all in the vehicle and stuff. I had him pull me off to the side so the children didn't see me getting arrested. All right. Might not have been my kids, but I'm not going to, you know, disrespect somebody else and be arrested in front of the children. There's a, I was being very... There's a $100 fine, $75 crime victim's rights fee, and $50 state minimum fee. <clears throat> That's $225. You have $400 of bond. You got to return the balance, which is going to be $175. You're barred from Walmart for one year. Yeah, that'd be in December when we go back, right? I don't really want to. I mean, I got one. No, it's class, one year so. from now. So <laughs> next October 1st, you can go back to Walmart. When? Okay. Not from December, but from now. Oh, from now. Okay. All right, you go out to the counter, you're going to get some money back. Okay. Um, and this matter is done, and you're free to go. Thank you. Thank you.